Hey, what's going on, guys? Jay Will here again at Veteran Nerd Review. You know, give you guys the Marvel Legends figure review on the Marvel Legends three pack Banshee, Gambit, and Psylocke. And this three pack was definitely a must get, seeing as how I don't have a Banshee of any kind in my collection. And I definitely wanted an upgraded or updated uh, Gambit figure. And of course, the Psylocke was a bonus, but I definitely wanted to get this entire set, both sets, and the Wolverine, which I do have. And I'll be getting to I will be getting to reviewing them shortly. But these guys definitely look span. Well, so I was gonna combine two words for a second there. They definitely look fantastic and spectacular together. Definitely glad to have them. I think I paid what the price point of about what seventy seven or what eighty close to eighty bucks or so for the set. Definitely not a bad value, at least in my opinion anyway. Especially with all the accessories that you guys come with. Let's go ahead and put these guys back here for a second. Nice and safe. Before we get started, guys, I gotta go ahead and let you guys know that the uh, raffle, my test raffle, is in full effect for you guys to have the opportunity to win a deluxe class or deluxe Iron Man. I keep saying deluxe class in reference to Transformers, but a deluxe Iron Man with a proton cannon, sealed in box, brand new. I have a couple of these guys that I'm gonna be trying to raffle away for you guys. So if you guys are interested in winning that, hit up my cash app, which will be in the description below. Uh, each ticket is two dollars. Buy as many tickets as you want. I probably advise against buying the about forty-five dollars worth of tickets because you might as well just go ahead and just buy the figure at that point. But you guys do have opportunity or chance to win for just a few bucks. And the only way to win is to play, right? And so yeah, hit the like button, comment after the video, share your thoughts, and subscribe, hit the notification bell, please, guys. It will definitely help me out, help me get my channel off the ground, and give you guys opportunities to win more things through this channel. So yeah, let's get started. Taking a quick look at the packaging here. We do have a nice uh, windowless packaging here. Marvel's Gambit, Banshee, and Psylocke from the X-Men. Definitely some nice artwork right there. Nice looking set. Box is pretty nice. I have a 60 year anniversary type of deal on the top right there. Got some artwork right there on the side of the three characters. And then you got some comic book artwork right there on the side of the same three characters. So yeah, definitely like they're going back retro with the styling of the uniform. So other than that, not much else going on with the packaging. Let's go ahead and bring these guys a little bit closer and do some quick comparisons. First off, I want to do these two guys right here because they're the only ones I actually have figures for or previous editions of. We have the Marvel Legends Psylocke, a previous version. And you have the Marvel Legends Gambit. So you guys can see how they change, differentiated between the sets. Bring these guys just a little bit closer so you guys can kind of see. Faces is a little bit different, but overall you get the idea of the same gist. Bring her back out. And now for Gambit, I do believe the uh, staff piece is the same exact piece. However, unfortunately, the old one doesn't really hold it very well. So that's why I'm definitely glad to have this one now. Because the old one has an issue with a having tight enough grip. And I'll just leave it out for the rest of the video. But yeah, you definitely guys can see how the slight differences in the head sculpt with these two. The hair is a little bit bigger, face is a little bit brighter, wider. Definitely feel like this is a better representation face wise of Gambit, but everybody knows it's like his classic look or styling right here. With the jacket, trench coat, and everything, and the purple uh, armored chest piece. But yeah, overall, he gets the same uh, little card right there deal with the effects on it, like he's charging it up. So that's pretty cool. And just for giggles, kicks and giggles. Let's go ahead and bring in the VHS Cyclops. Gotta arrange these guys a certain way. And the VHS Morph, if I can get his foot to work for me, because he doesn't want to stand sometimes. Now this is starting to really shape up like a nice little set for me. I love how everybody's starting to get towards the same uniforms. I do have the uh, other uniformed characters. Wolverine, Storm, 
Forge and Jubilee. So that's pretty cool to have these guys all starting to look together, look like they work together as an actual same group. As far as accessories go, Banshee here comes with alternate head sculpt, non screaming head with a pork chop sideburns, and two open, kind of flying, uh, soaring kind of hands, I guess you could say. Psylocke here comes with her energy sword and the effect that wraps around it that you slide on, and her energy, uh, I guess, a dagger deal that she kind of comes off her hand right there. And two grippy hands that's already equipped, as well as a knife hand, as we call it in the military, and a down to business hand. Gambit here comes with his satchel, his staff, energy card, two uh, grippy hands, one for each side, and one card throwing effect hand, which looks very nice. You can tell it's like all the way painted. It's pink all the way through as far as the plastic goes, translucent pink, and they just painted yellow over the hand right there. So, yeah, it's pretty cool. But these guys look spectacular, as I've kept mentioning before. Ugh, just super glad to have them. Thinking about ordering a couple more sets just to put in the raffle for you guys later on down the line. So, if you guys missed out on them sometime around September, October time frame, you guys might have a chance to win them again through my channel. But yeah, let's get down to business, shall we? Banshee here has a very soft, uh, like paper kind of fabric good right here. I'd be very careful with them though. They are, they are tabbed, sewn into these tabs that poke out around his body right here, the side, forearm, and calf muscle. So stretching them out will kind of eventually over time tear the uh, threading or uh, stitches right here in these tabs. So be very careful or weary about that. So I try to be very careful auto automatically. His arms can't move out to the side about that far. So before you start to feel that little stretch or the little, you know, kind of pull on it, like it's gonna almost start ripping off the tab. So be careful about that. But anyway, here you can look up that far. Looks down that far. Side to side motion, of course. Ever so slight head tilt. Shows move out as far as I mentioned before. He has a butterfly joint that moves forward that far, back that far. It can't go all the way around, but I definitely wouldn't recommend it because I don't want to tear this uh, fabric here. Double jointed bicep and swivel that bends in that far. Wrist swivel with the back and forth motion in the hands. And I believe his other hands have the same articulation, yes. Same articulation back and forth. He has ab crunch that crunches back that far. Push it forward that far. There's a waist cut, lace cut to the sides that far. Kick to the front about that far. Kick back that far. Upper thigh cut. Double joint knees that bend in that far, so pretty far. And he has a boot cut right there, just below where the tab is, so you don't have to worry about tearing it if you just move this around. And he has ankle pivot as well as up and down motion in the feet. So yeah, pretty good range of articulation on this guy. Paint looks good all the way through, nice sculpt. Definitely loving the yelling head sculpt for when he screams or when he cries, whatever out, that's why he can fly and whatnot. Looking pretty good there. Come on, stand up for me. Moving right along to Gambit. Definitely nice looking sculpt all the way throughout for this guy. I think he's probably utilizing the same sculpt and body sculpt as a Banshee, but it looks pretty. It looks more fitting for Gambit anyway. Head looks up that far, looks down that far. Side to side motion, of course. A little bit of head tilt in there. Shoulders move out to the sides that far. Down that far. He has a butterfly joint. Goes back that far, forward that far. Arms go all the way around. Bicep swivel. Double joint elbows have been in that far. Wrist swivel and back and forth motion in the hands. This is his uh, card throwing hand, his little peace sign hand. He has an ab crunch that crunches forward that far. Crunch it back that far. Waist cut. The belt is a soft plastic on all the figures. The little red X belt is a soft little plastic and shift around. Let's kick out the size that far. Kicks forward that far. Back just a tad. Upper thigh cut. Double joint knees that bend in that far. And boot cut as well as ankle pivot and up and down motion in the feet.
And of course the satchel is removable. It's a little soft plastic, just hangs, just dangles there. They get a good range of uh, accessories with these guys. Move right along. Psylocke. She has pretty good articulation as far as like the new female molds and everything. She has the pinless joints. So let's get into it. Yeah, you can look up that far. Looks down that far. Side to side motion. A little bit of head tilt in there. Shoulders can move up to sides that far. So pretty good range up. Down that far. Then go all the way around. Bicep swivel. Double jointed elbow. Pinless joints. Oops. Flubbed up there. But yeah. Joints really tight. There you go. I had to break that joint in. But yeah. Double joint elbow that bends in that far. So pretty far. Wrist swivel. Back and forth motion of the hands. I believe she has the same articulation both hands. Yep. Same articulation. And she has a diaphragm joint. So she gets a good little crunch backwards. Crunch forward. Rotation. No waist cut or anything like that. Legs get off the sides that far. They kick forward that far. Kick back just a tad. Upper thigh cut. Double joint knees. No boot cut on this female mold, but she does get ankle pivot as well as up and down motion in the feet. So you get a nice little range of accessories, details, sculpting, paint, everything is just like pretty good on these guys. Definitely very appreciative of them. Like I said, this piece right here is removable. So I don't know guys, what do you guys think? Do you guys think this set is worth the pickup? I think it is. And for the price point of about like 80 bucks or so, that's a little bit on the expensive side, but I mean, it's definitely uh, the cost of inflation these days is everything's just going up. So might as well get with the times and just uh, work harder. Like that uh, guy from uh, the Pizza Hut ad, I work harder, I get more money. I, yeah, that guy. Anyway, definitely worth the pickup. One of my new favorite sets. I'm going to go ahead and continue reviewing this entire set of all the uh, new uniforms and everything I'm probably gonna put them on display with my Sentinel and uh, yeah so guys if you want to uh, have more information on the uh, raffle and everything go ahead and subscribe it really helped me out I appreciate it guys so that way you guys can be looped in hit the notification bell so you guys know about any more videos that are coming out of the pipeline and more updates on the raffle and uh, yeah so you all stay safe out there later